Hi there, Danny from GDL Automotive and it's Burger Friday which means we're full of grease and fat and seediness and really should be actually asleep but instead we've now got no work and so we're going to do a self-help video and today we're doing the warning lights in your car. Also, this is my unshaved face. How good was that? For today's demonstration we have Elliot's Toyota Yaris. This is the same Yaris we used for which video was it? You were uh, the... car crash? No, it wasn't car crash. You were the. the... What was the jump start? The jump start. That's right. You were the vehicle that is not the car of mechanical excellence. That no, was the blue pea plater. No longer. That's right. He's off his peas. Well done. Clap, mm. clap for Elliot. Good job. First light for our demonstration is the battery light. Uh, traditionally, if this light comes on, you have a alternator issue. Could also be a battery issue, but nine times out of ten, it's an alternator problem. A battery failure will cause the car to not start, whereas if this comes on while you're driving, it's normally alternator issues. Okay, this one here of the man blowing a huge bubble is actually your airbag light. It goes out just after you turn the ignition on. Uh, if this light comes on, there's an issue with the airbag system, and it's worth noting here that while ever this light is on, your airbag system is actually disabled. So. If you're driving along thing, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, in the event of an accident, your airbags won't actually work. This one here is your ABS light. Uh, it, this relates to your braking system. Same thing again as the airbag. If this light is on, your ABS system is actually disabled. Your brakes will still work, but if you lock up, you will just slide. The ABS won't kick in. Okay. Elliot's dash looks like we've sneezed on it, but... The PS light actually relates to electric power steering. If this light comes on, um, go to your mechanic and probably don't drive actually, get it towed. Same with this one. If this one goes on, get it towed. That's overheating, that's bad. If you keep driving with that light on, or the temperature gauge on max, you will blow a head gasket. That's all bad. This one, everybody makes the assumption that it relates to your handbrake, which it does, uh, which Elliot will now demonstrate if you take the handbrake. And back on look at that uh, however if this light stays on when the handbrake's off it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an issue with the wire to the handbrake switch this light has two purposes one is to tell you your handbrake's on the other is to tell you that you have no brake fluid left so don't keep driving with this light on assuming that it's just a wiring problem with your handbrake you may be out of brake fluid which in turn means your brakes won't work and that's all bad both these lights the top one there is check engine the bottom one there is oil. If these lights come on while you're driving your car, stop driving, get it towed. Uh, this bottom one is obviously, you've got no oil pressure, you're doing massive damage to the internals of the engine. The top yellow one here uh, means there's an electrical problem and it could be one of hundreds of issues. And yeah, it's not worth the risk. Just get it towed, it'll cost you $100. Whereas if you drive it, it could cost you thousands. 